What happened to him? Which one? Uh, the guy that I shot in the head. What was his name? Uh, Robert? Robert. He just couldn't make it here, man. He's a good guy, though. So. Come on, GC. Come on, GC. I'm telling you, ain't going to help you. <laughs> you know what's going to help you, man? If he told you anything about making a lot of calls, that's what's going to help you. Frequency, baby. <laughs> This is my deal. I tried it. I tried running it like somebody else's way. Like I want to. I want to. I want to run my deal my way. And and uh, I know what it takes to, to to push that thing up the hill. Yeah. So, have you always had the same mentality all the way from the beginning, or has it changed? Well, no, it's changed because what what happened in the beginning was was uh, you know I didn't want to spend my money. So I'd make a little money, dude, and I'd be like, I was so scared because I didn't know what was going to happen. I kept thinking it was going to end. So when I was 30, I would have a month or a quarter or a year, right? And be like, dude, I, how long is this going to work? Now, looking back now, it was like that big, right? But I was like, I was amazed at what I was doing. And then, I mean, I made that much money in an hour yesterday. But when I'm 30 years old, I'm like, damn, $20,000. Am I going to be able to do this again? Everything was doubt. I was I was uncertain about everything because there was no plan. There was no like, I didn't have anybody to help me, so I didn't I didn't have anybody with me. I'm in an office that's literally this big. The the office goes from this wall to right here, and I had a two thousand dollar computer that I was terrified about. Everything was fear, and so um, I was scared, man. I was scared all the time. I didn't know where my customers. I mean, my think wasn't big enough, you know. So the point of that is, every time I got a dollar, I just pushed it aside, and then I didn't use it. If you don't spend money on your business, your business won't grow. It's impossible. Okay, a business, a, a guy that won't invest in his business is a guy that will. You, you can't make money if you don't spend money. You have to be willing to keep spending money. So uh, the goals now are, you know, I want to take my real estate portfolio from uh, from uh, half a billion to four billion dollars. I'd like to take it public, go to Wall Street with it. But I'm on I'm on a hiatus on that. I'm on a a little bit of a vacation on that right now because or uh, a break because I can't buy any real estate right now because it's got overpriced. So I got to wait it out. Uh, and then our goal is to get our online platform, different business, our online platform, which is basically real estate, digital real estate. Uh, people are paying me for content delivered over the internet. And uh, get that to as many people as possible. We're translating into other languages right now. So I've got to go from my English to your English at some point. <laughs> They're definitely different. Um, so, you know, we, I want me to reach as many people as I can. I need to be in Spanish, I need to be in Chinese, I need to be in Russian. They're not going to follow me in my language. Dude, you guys, like, your thing needs to be, like, monster. You know? Even, even if it's not, even if it's not, you know, like, like, if this is your target right here, you know, this is how big, that that's what you should be going after. Because this guy, this point over here, might actually know him. You know, I want people in South Korea and North Korea to know me. I don't care if they're communists. Doesn't matter to me, dude. Kim Jong, Wong Kong, whatever, <laughs> dude. I don't care. I, I don't, you know, I, I want all, I want all these particles. These are particles. These are people, right? They're like... I want them all to know my name. Because if they all know my name, dude, and they send a vibration to that guy, I got it. People don't know you, they don't buy from you. Okay? There's an old saying that if, 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 uh, people got to like you to buy from you. It's not true. People have to know you, though. They don't know you, they won't trust you. The more they hear your name, the more this one point right here hears this name, oh, I think I can trust that name. So... <clears throat> This is when I when I grew up. I thought I needed to market here. This was my market. 
it was a mistake, man. My market should have been out here. That means you need money, though, because a lot of this marketing is going to be wasted. You know? Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of energy, man. So you need your team on the freaking, you need your team. For me to market to this one guy is one, one, one energy level. For me to market to all these people every day, okay? You gotta remember these people are in a different time zone than these people. So I get eight hours of sleep, the other 16 hours, 16 hours a day, dude, I, I, I'm, I'm, it's hammer down. Maybe with a 10 minute nap, it's freaking hammer down. That means I need my wife and my kids on with me, on board all the time, 16 hours. I need to hit. And early on, I didn't have that because I didn't have the girlfriends. You know, he knows to come in with the camera, right? Those guys over there know to light up. You got to get your team right because that's what you're taking on. You're not taking on this guy. See, this is what everybody goes into business. They're like, I'm going to get my business plan. But look, the business plan is this. It's on, it's on this, right? Dude, this is what your business plan is. Great book right here by L. Ron Hubbard on power and condi the conditions of how to get in power. So this is, this is a mentor of mine, okay? Um, I, don't, I don't think I have any others around me, but I mean, you know, books can be mentors, man, audio programs, MP3s, the 10X rule. You know, you started listening to that thing and you couldn't get off it. I'm, I'm mentoring you in that moment. Mm -hmm. You gotta remember, this, is the, 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 this, this guy right here has gotta handle all that, okay? So this guy better be in good condition. I'm not talking about his body. Or his jacket or his tie, you know, you guys all know how to look good. These guys can dress up. <laughs> Got the puffy man. How many times you fix that puffy this morning, man? Double figures. <laughs> so this cat's got to be in good shape, man. As much attention as you're giving to your clothes, you need to give to who you are. You, you are massive, like way bigger than your body. Look way bigger than the thing you dress up. And you better be, by the way, because that's what you're taking on. If you want to be really successful, you got to get in touch with all of this. All of you. So in that 16 hours, while you're doing all that stuff, then you got to figure out, hey man, who's this cat? What's this cat? The, the, one of the things I've done since I was 25 that's helped me more than anything is constantly put attention on me. What can I do to improve me? Who am I really? This book, for instance, is about ethics. See, when you take away all the bad, the garbage from a person, you take away all the disabilities, you end up with a good person. You know, uh, we, we I did a stream yesterday. We're trying to hit a target right now. We have two days left, and so we're hitting this. I go in there. I got a, my wife wants me to go to a movie with my wife and the kids. She's promised them to go to Alice in Wonderland. So I got to figure out how to do that. And I'm trying to hit this target, right? So I come in on a Monday morning that everybody else is off. I shouldn't have been in yesterday. It doesn't make any sense. I like, did take day off. What's the problem? <clears throat> I come in. We shoot this. We shoot this video. We do. You know, we hit half our target yesterday in a 30-minute video while I have this deadline. The point of that is this. I have to be in good shape to be able to make those decisions, to get on a video, stream out to the world and say, buy my product right now, buy my product right now, over and over. You know how hard that is, dude? If the garbage is removed, dude, I can do anything. And I don't need to apologize. Why do you pressure me? Because you hadn't closed yet. That's why. Do it. And I'm just going to come back with more pressure. Because I, I don't have, I, I have all this stuff handled that doesn't, doesn't have my mommy telling me back when I was a kid, don't quit asking, quit insisting, right? That we all got being brought up. So if you can strip all that stuff away, man, what are you left with? You're left with a dangerous, dangerous dude. <laughs> And you want to be dangerous, right? Because you you got to be willing to be dangerous to get to get to get attention of all those particles out there, and keep getting it, and go through all the criticism and the hate. Why are you doing this? See, if you if you guys take this conversation back to the UK, the first thing you're going to hear is somebody's going to say to you, "Dude, that's American, man. That's not going to work here." I guarantee you're going to hear that first. Half the people can take it. That's the American thing. That's not going to work over here, okay? You guys used to own freaking one-third of the plant. Okay. Y'all, y'all, it keeps getting smaller and smaller over there. It's going to be down to the queen or castle before it's over with. 
All y'all gonna have is the castle, the queen's castle, and a bunch of memories. That's what happens to countries, man. You know. What was the the biggest mistake you made in your career thus far? Or when you were uh, so many. Out, when you were out. I mean, there's so many. Man. Think, I mean, one, the first ones think it's small. I was just thought too small, too too long. Some of the things that helped me were some of the things that hurt me, you know. I didn't, uh, I didn't invest enough money, but I didn't, you know, I was scared. But I saved that money, put that money away until I could invest it. I stayed too small, too long, didn't have any employees for too long. I wasn't selective enough about the people around me. They weren't bad people; they were just average people. Do you mean professionally and that was the Oh, yes, yeah. everything. It's all the same to me. This guy right here doesn't know when he's at home, when he's at the office, when he's meeting me. Dude, this guy's not Grant or the husband or 58 years old. This guy is this. He's not in a suit or, you know, somebody gave me my name, Grant. That's not mine. I mean, that's not what I would have picked. <laughs> what would you think bad doing? <laughs>